Like we mentioned, Sarah will be performing the same uh, set of mobility tests. Uh, so we will do the same. Uh, try to stand by and listen to those comms. I said it before, a lot of us wear here because we want to do this. All right, stepping into test matrix one for single-handed mobility. Really cool to see one of our own out there. That's awesome. And EV2 for awareness, we're watching from the nose cone. Copy all. I would say in all three translation axes, I'm having certainly cross coupled movements. Forward, back, I am inducing a bit of a roll. Similarly, with left, right, and up, down, a bit of a pitch. But all our achievable rating is three. Yaw is a three. Roll is a four. And pitch is a three. from left hand, stepping into vertical translation. SpaceX copies, and EV2 for awareness, we're tracking an ingress time at 02 flow, 5, 9 minutes. Copy, 5, 9 minutes. Horizontal bars are definitely preferred. And I'm not completely able to stabilize my body with single hand disturbances. left and right. Stepping into max reach, do you have visual? A firm, we have visual on the nose cone. Copy from bar four to bar two, from top down. And similar reach from bar two up to bar four. SpaceX copies reach. And EDA test matrix one complete, seat pressure 5.25, 33.8 Celsius, 37% humidity. SpaceX copies HUD readout and test matrix one complete. Copy, seven unit test matrix two.
like we mentioned before, views going in and out doing, during, excuse me, due to those ground station uh, coverage gaps. Yeah, we, we comms are... Some of the same. Comms are through satellites, but we've got ground stations for video on Dragon. As you can see in the tracker, we just flew over on New Zealand. We're about to go right over the middle of the Pacific. No ground stations in the middle of the Pacific. Are actually pretty good. We're hearing the voice of mission specialist Sarah Gillis, our fellow SpaceXer, on her spacewalk. Got, she's got about a minute left, and then she's going to start heading inside. And Let's see if it's a little more work they can actually get between almost bar one and bar four on that street. Space has copies. And you could see the Earth dark, and we flew into like an orbital. Right, and test matrix to kind of combine them, so we'll call that complete. Pressure 5.27, 38% humidity, 33.7 Celsius. SpaceX copies, matrix complete, and HUD readout. Stepping into hands free demo. I'm able to engage and disengage my feet. Copy that, DB2, and once you are able to engage, disengage, we'll actually have you start ingress. We're just over five, nine minutes, O2 flow. Copy. With that, DB2 is proceeding with ingress. Free check for ingress. DB1 is good. DB2 is good. Good. 14 good. Copy. Coming on in. All right, and just like that, Sarah's going to start making her way in. Check those hatch seals again. SpaceX copies on striker plates. And EV2, I have one more ask for the hatch, if you can uh, check that out as well when ready to copy. 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 And EV2, what I'll have you do is when you ingress, can you get eyes on the hatch handle mechanism and see if the handle has been stowed in the do not stow uh, window and report if you can see that? Checking. Outside. Copy, just outside, thank you. Just outside the range. And for awareness, I do see a couple of those same points bulging again between 12 and 13. Copy, your go to this. No, mostly between 12 and 13 right now. SpaceX copies at 12. Uh, if you can, you're going to address those. Copy and work. These numbers being called out represent the location Still around. Yeah, the location around the circular hatch, just identifying where these bulges are. So Sarah is now reseeding that seal. Not quite able to reach the back one, so we'll proceed with. Clearing for hatch closure. Just like that, we're already hearing about hatch closure. It's incredible that these two EVAs, just in two blinks of the eyes, are. Uh, EV2 is clear of hatch, please. Two checks. Oh. 
on your screen there is SpaceX Core uh, or Crew Operations and Resource Engineer. On duty tonight is Arthur Berrialt. This is the, uh, the the voice to the crew throughout uh, their operations. Of course, you know everyone has to sleep, so we have sh different shifts for Core. Um, but Mike, your time in Dragon. Dragon close. You good? Copy. Deploying Nando. Applying force. And closing. Once we get ground station coverage uh, again, we will be sure to bring you views within the Dragon capsule. But right now, Sarah is closing the forward hatch. It sounds like we might give the motor a try. He's confirmed the hatch is visually indicating closed. Command hatch is verified latch. Hey, command and EVA hatch closed. EVA hatch closed. All three goes enabled. Dragon SpaceX, we see EVA hatch closed and pressure indicates good hatch seal. Stand by for transition to EVA repress one. And EV1 copy. Big one check secondary O2 valve closed. Copy. And then support one on this. EV1 closed. EV2 closed. EV1 closed. EV2 closed. So a couple of real big moments right there. Sarah was able to make sure. We copy. We're in EVA repress one. We copy secondary flow is closed and agree. EVA repress one. He was able to make sure that the seals were in good spot. We got the hatch closed. You okay, can see. Crew, we're out of the half PSI for 8.3. See the Copy. pressure starting to tick up. 